All right, today I'm gonna give you guys a detailed look at this uh, SH figure art uh, figure, and it is uh, Black Sun from Common Rider. Uh, I saw the series. Um, uh, I saw the season. Well, it's only one season. I don't think they'll make any more. Uh, it's a mini series. Uh, it's on Amazon Prime, and uh, saw it over the weekend, and uh, looks fantastic. I like it. Um, I have not seen any of the other shows. Uh, I've seen bits and pieces of uh, show uh, of clips here and there from other 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 common writers, but um, decided to check out this one because I have Amazon Prime and uh, was able to watch it and I enjoyed it quite well. Uh, it's a little slower play pace uh, than other shows I've seen, but uh, it's interesting. I do like it. Alright, so here's a look at the figure and all the accessories that it uh, comes with. It uh, comes with a bunch of hands, you can see right there. And then uh, two extra chest, play, uh, chest plates. And then we have a sword and then some attachment, uh, the uh, sheath of the sword. I mean, no, um, the handle, uh, the hilt. And then uh, there are two pieces uh, for you to attach on the back of him. So there's, uh, there's uh, Black Sun right there. Very cool looking figure. Alright, here's the piece I was telling you about. Uh, so on the side, you can see there's a peg right there. On the side, I already attached it, so it's going to look like that. So let me attach the other piece on. And here's what it looks like with both pieces attached. Right there. Pretty cool. Alright, so as far as <clears throat> articulation for Black Sun, let's take a look at articulation head is on ball joint and is on the uh, underneath the head and also base of the neck so he has a really good range of motion he could definitely look down and uh, looking up a uh, good amount not fantastic but still good enough shoulders uh, the um, shoulder pad itself seems to be on a some sort of a hinge but it's not really pulling away that... Oh, okay. It's on two hinges where it kind of swings outward like that. <clears throat> so as far as the arm is concerned, goes out. And, yeah. and it has a little bit of a room. So his arm can swing in and out a little bit. It's not really a full-on butterfly joint and then the uh, bicep swivel and then the elbows double jointed can give you past 90 degrees like that and then wrists on ball hinge joint and as far as the torso is concerned ball joint up here ball joint around the waist but uh, not a whole lot of range either crunch not so much arch a little bit better and then as for the legs okay they start using these uh, T joints which is nice I like these more than the ball joints because ball joint tends to get loose over time and uh, there is a ball joint around the thigh area so it gives it a little wiggle room because uh, the way they sculpted the the thigh, thigh piece, it does get in the way a little bit uh, for certain poses, like leg spread, could go about that much. And, uh, but as far as raising the legs, double jointed knees, and um, let's see, it looks like a ball hinge ankle, and then it does have a pivot left and right, a separate joint that and there's toes articulation so uh, currently I'm waiting for the um, the bike to come out and uh, he should be able to ride it quite nicely even though uh, the only time he rides that bike is when he's in the human form not when he's in this form so yeah I bet you eventually they're gonna make the human character but uh, if you want him to ride the bike, he's definitely capable of doing that. But uh, once I get the bike, then I'll be able to pose him on it. 
and uh, show you guys what it looks like with it. All right, and uh, in the show, if you want to see him um, holding on to the sword, you would have to uh, take this whole piece off. Uh, part of the chest chest plate has to come off, and then this whole section needs to come off uh, because in the show, it's uh, pretty violently uh, how he rips this uh, whole piece off in order to get the sword to to, uh, to come out. So yeah, it's a little more. A little more, yeah, uh, gruesome uh, for, for him to get the sword out. So let's see what he looks like uh, with the sword. Alright, and here's what he looks like with the sword. And uh, you literally have to change out this chest plate. And this is what it looks like uh, when he's without that piece. Mm -hmm. Further out, oh, let me focus in a little bit more. So here's that plate. And then uh, it wraps all the way around, and then inside here there are, I thought there are two pickles. There's only one. So there's one pickle right here, and it attaches onto his chest. So you remove that uh, different chest piece, and then you just placed it on top. And you can see this thing is supposed to wrap all the way around like that, and then this bottom section wraps all the way, all the way around there. And here's without it, so... Yeah, it doesn't peg in or anything. The only thing that pegs in is the uh, chest right here. So here's what it looks like with the sword. Quite cool. I like it. And uh, yeah. Let me give you a closer look at the figure itself. So here's a closer look at Black Sun. The antenna is up there. Chest plate, the arm, the sword. Let's go back over here. The other arm, right there. The belt. Crotch, legs, and feet. All right, and here's his size comparison. We have War Machine, also by SHF, standing next to him, and he is a little shorter than War Machine. Let's see how tall he is. Uh, he is about six inches, a little shy of six inches, close to there. Uh, but uh, yeah, very skinny. Mm. There's a comparison. Let me compare with another common rider. Alright, and here's how tall he is next to Rider 1, and uh, wow, I'm surprised he's that much taller than Rider 1. I would figure they're, they're all pretty much the same size, but here's a comparison. Yeah, common Rider, uh, Black Sun. Uh, yeah, I don't know much about the um, the whole common Rider uh, storyline or anything like that. I uh, only purchased this because I really um, like the design of this one. Uh, normally, I uh, I dabble with uh, Kamen Rider here and there. I don't have that many Kamen, Kamen Rider figures, uh, but uh, this one really caught my eye. And um, I wish I've gotten the um, the other guy, uh, which is uh, uh, something Shadow, whatever that one is. Um, yeah, I wish I've gotten that one on pre-order as well. But uh, a little late on this guy. Um, got it uh, through uh, Big Bad toy store and um, really like it and uh, uh, the bike is on pre-order and uh, really enjoyed the series I uh, really enjoyed this uh, series for Con Rider Black Sun and uh, yeah if you're interested uh, this figure I'm sure is still available but the other guy's not though so yeah but there you go there's uh, Black Sun from Essex Figure Arts and one last look And there you go. Thanks for watching.